Hey, this is the Betrayer, and oh my god! Final Fantasy VII Remake confirmed! Finally, after so many years! I never thought I'd be alive to see this! Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite games ever! I've even played Crisis Core and Dirge Cerberus, and I've seen Advent Children. In fact, Sephiroth is my absolute favorite fictional character. And I like Cloud, which is another reason why I like Dissidia. Now, I don't care how long it takes for them to finish this game, I'm just glad it's confirmed. I just hope they do a really good job gameplay-wise and visually. And this is their chance to tweak the equipments and add on to the story. So take your time, Square Enix. No rush. But seriously, show me some gameplay. Now then, since that's been taken care of... Oh my god! Shenmue 3? What? No way! I never thought I'd see the day! Wow! Alright, this this was totally unexpected. A lot of you probably have never heard of Shenmue. Shenmue 1 came out on Dreamcast. Shenmue 2 came out on the original Xbox. I beat the game back then, but it ended on a huge cliffhanger. Ever since then, I've been waiting for Shenmue 3 for over 10 years. Wow, I am definitely getting this game. Alright, I'm done spazzing out now. No other game can make- <gasps> Perfect Dark! <gasps> Whoa, it's- <gasps> oh, Battletoads! Oh my god, <gasps> Badger Gazooey! Whoa, whoa, uh, wait, what? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know who you are. I don't, I don't know. <gasps> Hawker's Mad Verde! Oh, oh my god! Rare, what are you doing to me? <gasps> is this a sequel? Is this, is this an actual sequel to one of those games? I- Wait, what? I no. Th this is a compilation. I, I, I want a sequel. Ugh, jeez, rare. You let me down again. Come on. Well then, starting with Microsoft, what blew me away was the Hololens. It looked so cool using it to play Minecraft. Now, I personally don't play Minecraft, but I am just intrigued by the technology, and I look forward to what other games will make full use of it. Phil Spencer said in an interview that one idea he has is when you play Xbox while wearing the HoloLens, the holograms will appear around the outside of the TV, which is kind of cool to display more stats or to maybe decorate around to further immerse yourself. We'll see what more they can do. Backwards compatibility for Xbox 360 games is huge. I am so glad you can just insert your disc and download the game for free. They said they will not charge you. Are you taking notes, Sony? <laughs> Halo 5 Warzone. Looks pretty cool. I've played all of the previous Halo games, and my favorite mode is Big Team Battle. Since Warzone has more players, it will be more chaotic. I like it. ReCore is a new IP, and it looks cool so far. No gameplay, but that's all I can say. Rise of the Tomb Raider. The trailer looked okay, it didn't wow me, but I love the previous Tomb Raider game so much that I will definitely get this game anyway, regardless of what trailers they show me. Gears of War 4 was mostly a black screen, so I can't say anything about it. Now for Sony. The Last Guardian looks emotional and creative, I gotta say. But they didn't show much about what is the point of all this. What is your objective in the story? We'll see. No Man's Sky looks impressive, a vast universe to explore. It's crazy, but what is the point of the game? The guy said your objective is to get to the center of the universe, but why? And what is the point of exploring thousands of planets? I don't know, we'll see. Horizon Zero Dawn looks really cool. I can't wait to see more of this new IP. Now. I've never played any Star Wars games, but Star Wars Battlefront looks really fun. Hmm. The Division. I am very interested in this game. The trailer showed these people teaming up with random players, then killing them for their loot. But one person leaves the party to betray the others, and takes everyone's loot and runs. That intrigued me because, you know, I'm the betrayer, and I enjoy it. As for Nintendo, I was underwhelmed by what they showed. I'm still getting Fire Emblem Fates, that's for certain, but I was hoping for new Mario Kart 8 DLC and surprisingly no Legend of Zelda for Wii U was mentioned. I'm not much of a Star Fox fan, but what caught my eye is the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. This game reminds me of the Four Sword Adventure on GameCube and I love that game. Especially since this game has 3 player co-op, and I think it has online, 
which more and more Nintendo games desperately need. I also like Mario Maker, and I was kind of hoping for a Super Smash character reveal trailer, but oh well. And lastly, Kingdom Hearts 3. I like what I see. They introduced a new world which is Tangled. Plus, Sora has new clothes. I can't wait for this game. I'm getting it on day one still. Oh, and Fallout 4 looks awesome. And that's about it for the games that only I'm interested in. This has been a great E3, mostly because Final Fantasy VII Remake and Shenmue 3. Those are the two games that blew me away. But I want to hear from you. What games are you excited for? Let me know in the comments. This is The Betrayer, and I'll see you in The Division.